welcome. It is <clears throat> Tuesday, October the 16th. I am Clint Lambert. It's my pleasure to be the host today for Village in Motion. And I have in the studio with me at this time, Diane Havinger, who is the manager of Channel 6 uh, GSV TV here at Greenspring. And we are so glad to have Diane here. And I notice you're wearing the appropriate color. For the? For our blood drive. Yes. Which is coming up a week from Thursday, so next week. Okay. And I'm here to get a little bit more people to sign up. Sounds and good. Um, I, we do encourage and we welcome people to just walk in, mm -hmm. but the actual um, drive is put together by our reservations in terms of the amount that we have. Oh, okay. So we're a little under what we normally have, so I'm a little concerned that if we can't increase that, what, what they'll do is they will um, send less staff, which, you mm -hmm. know, yeah, makes, right. makes sense, sure. but, you know, I'd hate to have all of a sudden all these people say, I'm going to walk in, and right. then they walk in, and, Oops. and you know, you're now waiting longer right. than, than so what you So when you say should. less than we usually have, you're talking about less number of units of blood? Well, I'm talking about less um, people who are actually um, signed, signed up, up, who have okay. a reservation. Right. And it's really quite easy to reserve. You can just call me or you can email me or you can go online to the actual ANOVA blood donor site mm -hmm. and pick our blood drive, which is Thursday, October 25th. And you can sign up online, or like I said, you can either call me or um, email me, and I'll be happy to make a reservation for you. And if you say, say, you, Clint, you say, I'm going to come at 12:30, right? But for some reason, you come at 9 a.m. That doesn't mean we're going to say no. You have to come right. back at 12:30. Right. <laughs> it right. just, but it just helps to to um, for planning purposes. Yes. Yes. So right now, I have about 10 spaces still mm. open, Need which, to fill those. which I would love to fill. Um, they do give us a goal to, to meet, mm, and okay. of the people who actually come to the drive, not everyone, unfortunately, are, is able to give that day, right. and it could be a variety of reasons. Some as simple as you traveled to a place that has um, um, malaria. Malaria. That's that's a huge one. So right. anywhere like Far East, right. um, people are, can't donate for a year. Mm -hmm. um, so travel restrictions, unfortunately, are a big deal right. for the blood drive. Um, it could be you're just not feeling well that day, mm -hmm. um, and it also could be that your hemoglobin isn't right. where it should be. And Given that, should people start that are going to want to donate start eating more red meat? That is just the perfect question. You would have thought I had prompted you, and press, I mean, I did not no, prompt no, you. Did not. That's an excellent question because that's what I was going to to say. And I will email people that I have email addresses for mm -hmm. to say now's the time, um, not only um, to start eating those dark green leafy vegetables, right. but beans are really a good source, anything that's iron rich. So this is the time that I tell people who, um, like myself, I don't eat a lot of red meat, right. but this is the time where I'll go, gee, I guess I'll have a hamburger right. <laughs> <laughs> with red meat, yes, with, you yes. know, instead of a turkey burger. Right. Or, you know, go ahead and have that, that steak. I know some people actually have liver. Mm -hmm. Um, th those are great sources of right. iron, but anything to boost your iron count, you want to do it from now. So it has, you know, your body has time to, right. I guess it's absorb it yeah. and, and um, get that hemoglobin up. Right. And also drinking, um, getting, you know, um, hydrated. You know, and that doesn't mean alcohol. No. <laughs> <laughs> it does mean, though, H2O. Right. Um, Start hydrating, especially the day before the actual drive. If you're going to donate, I would just increase my liquid intake, not liquor, yeah. liquor. <laughs> but increase it so that you're really hydrated. Right. And then the day out, again, what I do when I um, go into the actual drive, I will pick up a water bottle and I'll mm -hmm. just start drinking from the time I'm filling out the form. Right. Um, I know some people get a little um, apprehensive right. when, you know, they have to get pricked and um, actually I think the pricking of the needle to test for your hemoglobin Hurts is worse than <laughs> really than, right. than the actual um, needle in your arm. But if you're a little concerned, I tell people, especially first time donors, 
um, get an ice pack. Mm -hmm. Tell the person, you know, this is my first time. Put the ice pack behind your neck um, and take some juice right before you to donate, and that all kind of helps that whole process. Right. So anything like that, um, and of course they can call me and I'll be happy to share more And more they thoughts. can reach you at? They can reach me here at Village Square. I'm right around, we're right around the corner of the um, beauty shop and right. barber shop. Or they can call me at um, the station number, which is uh, 923. Um, my direct number is 923-3193. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to, that's the direct. Okay. And also email dhavinga at erickson.com. And I hope to see people. And I say to people, I know there are a lot of people who can't for a variety of reasons right. donate. So I say bring someone who can. There you go. There you go. And we do allow outside folks. So if you have Wonder. grandkids or children who can donate for you, bring them down. Bring them in, right? Very good. But well, Diane, thank you so much for coming on and advertising and encouraging people to donate. Uh, to the blood drive and so week from Thursday. Week from Thursday right. and the blood supply has been low pretty much the entire year and with the hurricanes you know the blood um, supply is even less so we really do want to try to um, make the best we can right. and help our neighbors. Good and that was actually October 25th right? Yes. That the blood drive. Right. All right very good thanks again. Thank you. Uh, folks,